É nóis, hein?
straight. Press going through, and it's 591 who leads them. 591 Aaron Noyce now in amongst the traffic as 800. Sorry, Triple A, I should say. Shin dive bombs 300. The leader then does the same to him. Meanwhile, number two, Spooky, has gone around. He's collected by 715, Kyle Hegg. So then, it's 591. Aaron Morris, your man up front. 26. Tommy Barnes in second position. 350. Thomas Parrott in third. 157. Scotty in fourth. And then it's 682 Sparrow Boy and 128 Banwell. And Banwell's now gone to the hands of Alan Ainsley through the car. And it's going to be halfway next time, please, Thomas. Thomas, it's Wave Jello. This time, please, with your leader. We've got a Wave Jello situation for that man, Aaron Morris. Wave Jello's on the raceway. Wave Jello's on the raceway. It's a Wave Jello situation for Tan Tweedy. Thomas, your leader, is 5 0 one If you can try and stop him this time, I don't think you're going to do it this time, but maybe next time around. All right, the cars slow down as they need to do, Aaron Morris, understandably. The adrenaline's pumping. Wave Jello's coming out for Tan Tweedy. in 10th place we are dead on halfway and here we go again Aaron Moore is taking off and that's going to split the pack up a little bit of problems for a Billy Smith halfway down the grid and early doors sees Jamie Stafford dump out Dan Latham. Dan Latham, another early casualty, and the leader finds his way through. Billy Smith forward by the wayside. Here's the scrap for the minor places. 312, 682, the 128 all fighting for a place in the world final. Five laps to run next time. Thomas Please reserve one with a big dive bomb on Stafford. Takes it out of the fence. Up on the top turn, Kyle Picton does the exact same the Triple H shim. And they fight their way through. So we look for your lead car. And it's 591 Aaron Morris, who is now working his way through the traffic. A dominant performance by the former 1300 world champion, son of the former British champion. There's 270 full of butt's heads with 328 Dan Latham. 328 then responds by having a nibble at 538 Jake Swan. And it's 591 the leader. 26 Barnes in second, 157 Scotty in third, 350 Barrel in fourth, 312 Payne in fifth, and 682 Sparrow Boy in sixth place. Those are the only drivers on the lead lap. Fuller dumps out Lathan here in front of us. He'll look to get himself out of harm's way as the rest take evasive action. And the rest go racing through. There's up on the top turn, 106 Stafford has a nibble at 85 Irving to force him wide. And then 800 Greenslake steps in and 85 hits the arm on the back straight. The rest racing their way through. We've lost Alan Ainsley up on the top end of the circuit. He has come to grief as well. And it's 591 Aaron Morris who leads them through again. 591 the leader with one lap to run. Sparrow Boy's hit the fence. I think Sparrow Boy's broke so Paul Sparrow could be out. Heartbreak for Sparrow Boy. Morris leads onto the back straight. Bamwell's got the better of Sparrow. That could be critical. There's 591 with a big lunge at 3 2 on the frog. And Aaron Morris wins the last chance. And he is in the world. We've got to keep him going, Thomas. The rest are so far back. And he's so, so critical. Those top six. 26 in second. 157. Scotty is third. He looks like he's 3 1 2. Payne in fourth. The rest are a lap down. Bamwell, I believe, is in fifth. And Sparrow Boy might have just held on. Maybe. We've got him, Thomas. We can go red to end racing in the last chance qualifier. And we will have those all important race results for you in just a moment's time. The top ten qualify for the final, but of course. So here we go, the National Banger Inter-Counties Team Challenge and the draw picks Cambridge versus Norwich versus the Shires for heat number one. The 
see how they get on again. It's not quite where to take all this problems from Matt Franklin early doors, and he's going to have even more problems now as Panda nails him on the home straight. Toby Smith getting way about on the home straight. He's beautiful turned out goal without doubt. The smartest guy here tonight, and it is the Licorice Brothers who lead. James and Jack with 326 Ratty now trying to break him up. Meanwhile, more action behind us. 338, the winger powers in the regular rival, Big T, and takes him out of the fence. You would expect you might see a little bit of friction between the Garrett and the Foster brothers in this one as they race their way on. So heat number one for the National Bangers at 3 3 at the wing now has gone around on the home straight as does 82 Big T and it's still 51. James Lickrish for Cambridge. We've just seen him in the saloon, 3 2 8. Dan Latham in second place, 5 number 1 in there as well. Remember, not winner take all, but the winner is uh, going to give his team a big score. Meanwhile, 5 number 1 Lickrish helps 3 2 8. Latham into the fence, up on the road turn, shoves him into the wall. 32 Chubby moving into the positions as well and it's 51 who leads we race on with heat number one for the national angles there's a big push into the top turn there's five number one tangles with the 382 car and big t now looking to try and get in position to try and help his teammate and his brother who's leading but 51 twice to it what a hill big t behind Waterboy puts 723 Smith into the fence. And 51 Licorice throws it away to destroy 82 with a monstrous hit. 338 now, Wingnut also looking to turn around and perhaps get involved. We have a new leader, it's 328 Dan Latham leading for North, uh, Norfolk. And Norfolk team looking strong here as 328 spits out 374. Halfway, Thomas plays, halfway! And five number one Lickridge with a pop saying hit on Waterboy down here on the turn. So it's kicking off between Cambridge and the Shires and it's leaving Norfolk clear to get on with the business of trying to get the win. 3380 stops. Shami with a hard head on down here in 374. Chip up with a revenge hit and then Green Boy blows up Shami in turn and he gets one. Big action here in a game. Now the uh, Norfolk team getting a goal. Five to go, Thomas, please. But Norfolk looking very, very strong here. Got the majority of the cars left in the running. 3-3-8, three, three, the wing nut rejoins. So have a pop at Chubby. And it's still 3-2-8. Dan Latham who leads the way. 3-2-6 in second. 2-1-0 in third. Norfolk who have yet to win this event. 1-2-3 at the moment. So we race on with the opening heat in the end of team challenge to determine our first finalists. And it's 3 to 8 Latham who leads them. 3 to 6 Ratty in second. 2 10 in third. 4 number 1 in fourth at the moment. It is a Norfolk whitewash as 3 to 6 Ratty wipes out Smith at the end of the home straight. Toby Smith picks himself up and carries on his first ever national banger outing. And it could end here as Perk has got him. And Panda takes him all the way in on the pit bend. Couple of Shire cars still in the running. Couple of Cambridge cars but heavily outnumbered by Norfolk. You have to wonder if maybe they're going to save themselves for the consolation. Because Norfolk are looking very strong here and there's just another lap to go. 3 to eight, Latham failed to make it to the world final for the saloons. We're looking to get some consolation here by at least getting his team into the Inter Counties Team Challenge final. 3 to 8 leads, 3 2 6 in second, 2 10 in third, and 4 number 1 in fourth. And it is a whitewash for Norfolk. 3 to 8, Latham wins it. I don't even think we're going to have to add the points up to be fair. 3 2 6, Shane Lynn, the runner up. And the rest coming through the spots and positions of the places. Top six score the Inter County Team Challenge points. We've got them, Thomas. And we can have a red flag, please, to end heat number one for the National Bangers. Thomas, you're entertaining the trophy.
So here we go. National Banger, team number two. Lively scenes in the first one, despite the relatively modest turnout. Let's see what they do this time. There's a big, big push up in the top turn, which sees Osborne. Very 9-1-2 into 8-1-7. And now Jack Lauer getting spat out. It's 5-7-0, Dino Jr. release, the defending champions for Kent. A little bit further behind, 6 to three. Tricky with a lunge on 2 6 Turkish to try and dispose of him. And we now lose one, two, three. Kurga up at the top end. There's one, seven, four. Whipper helps one, double, eight. Victor in the fence. Up on the top turn, five, seven, eight, nine, two. Much like we saw last time. Bit of a feeling out process. As it's five, four, two. Oliver, who now again victory in the wars. And the points champion gets put away on the big stone. We've also lost one, one, six. Matt Cone from the Suffolk team as Victor comes back to turn aside. Two, six. Turkish. But it's five, seven. Dino Jr. leads for Kent with eight, nine, eight. Andy Battle on his tail for the Suffolk team. He's got teammates 913 and 313. Brett and Greg Osborne on his tail. And Turkish now looking to do what Turkish does best. He's turned it around to help his team in Essex. The leader comes through. Whipper also looking to start an impromptu destruction derby on the pitch turn. As 206 Turkish stops man on March on the nose. The G Man's there for a revenge hit. Losing no luck now on the back straight. Could he be a sitting duck? As 174 goes to the leader and fails to connect, and 313 Osborne is there to nail the green turn. And the Essex boys, I think, looking to maybe make this a DD as bad mark for each whipper for a head on. And that allows Noddy McQueen on the G man. He gets one in turn from out the line. Big hits on the home straight. And he's still 570 leading the way. Oh, as Drummond and Miss Q as 898 battle sends his teammate, Brett Osborne, crashing into Turkish. And one is not winner take all. The winners score the bulk of the points. It's halfway next time, please, Thomas. As Dino Jr. winds out Noddy. And it's 9-1-2. Who's been, uh, sorry, 2 since it's collected by 3-1-3 Osborne. And Andy Battle gets caught up in the melee as well. The G-Man goes through the rear wheel with 9 2 the entertainer. So the rest go racing through in tonight's second heat for the National Bangers in the Inter-Counties Team Challenge. And it's 5 7 0. Dino Jr. will now not only lead, but leads comfortably. 3 1 3. Craig Osborne in second. And Noddy now doing the wrecking on the pit names. Dino Jr. getting stuck in a 1 4 2. Jack Lauer. 5 to go next time, please, Thomas. 5 to go. But uh, Suffolk, they don't have the leader, but they've got the minor places. And as I say that, the G Man puts Andy Battle in the fence, and that could be critical. Matty Butcher now joining the DD. As I said again, the Essex boys looking to turn this into a destruction derby. Four to go next time, please. As Tricky winds out and mind, that could be critical. Leader has gone, Jack Lauer dumps out. Dino Jr. The new leader, I think, Thomas, we do. It's 3-1-3, Craig Osborne for supper. 3-1-3, the leader. Craig Osborne looking to get himself into position. As the DD continues, the Essex boys looking to get themselves into position to make their move. And 5 by 9 Batty stops a hesitant to David Lewis. But he's not the one they need in the stop. Suffolk appear to have more cars left than anyone. It's Craig Osborne who leads. And he's got his teammate Andy Battle in second. 570, Jordan coming, what's third? He's been wiped out by Craig Oliver. Still runs, but the Essex boys, it's the Suffolk team now in control. They got over looking to get into position for another move. As the rest racing on, Manny Butcher getting himself back into position. And Noddy has stopped Tricky with a head on shot. Just 20 cars, but what entertainment they are providing. 3 1 3, Osborne, your leader. Through he comes. 8 9 8, Andy Battle in second. A 1 2 would be enough. But a 3 4 9, Noddy reverses out of battle. Was able to squeeze through. Noddy wants more, it's a massive hit on the G-Man. We've got a fire as well. Call it Thomas, go red. Got a red flag please. We've got a fire for Noddy and we are going to declare it. Uh, with a, a nasty looking fire on the turn. The result will be taken from the last completed green flag lap. And we will bring you that race result in just a moment's time.
standing and show the greatest of respect to our special guest tonight who will oversee our trophy presentations. He is the very first Englishman to win the Saloon Stock Car World Championship. He is the world champion from 30 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 1985 Saloon Stock Car Champion of the World, Noddy Robinson! Noddy, thank you for being here. Absolute pleasure. Are we looking forward to this, sir? Yeah, very much so. Nice on show. It's, it's a little bit different to when you won it 30 years ago, my man, but the excitement, the anticipation, is that all the same? Still the same, yeah. As long as the crowd are behind it, that's still the same. Well, there's a great amount of people here, so hopefully they will be. Um, I've got to ask you, sir, um, have you got a pick? Have you got a favourite? It's got to be Aldous, I think, isn't it? David Aldous, the man on the front row side. Of course, a lot of people are talking about that. What kind of race do you think we're going to see? Is it going to be a good one? Who knows, mate? Who knows? Anything can happen in this game. It's only come. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much for being with us. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. We are now introducing first. He's ranked number two in the Saloon Stock Car Racing World. He will start on the outside of row number one. Coming us tonight from this, he makes his 17th World Championship appearance. A former three-time Super Bowl in European champion, a former two-time ORC champion, a former British and national points champion. He is your reigning national champion. And ladies and gentlemen, he is the four-time reigning and defending champion of the Saloon Stock Car Racing World. Will you please welcome 499, David Aldous! And receiving his qualifiers trophy from Noddy Robinson. We will ask he does one final lap with a lap of honour with the trophy. David, you have done so much in the sport. Four-time world champion. The only man to win on Shale in Tarmac. Yada, yada, yada. One thing you've never done, sir. You have never successfully defended the gold roof and the world title. Tonight, do you tick another box off that incredible CV? We'll give it a go. Right in Dana, me. It's Dana. All in, boys. It certainly is. How important is that start of this race going to be? Uh, it's going to be man again. You know, that's stock cars, that's milled and all. Um, it's no holds bars, but let's do what we got to do. If we get away, we get away. If we're in the wall, we're in the wall. Just, just take on the chin and come back for another go. What kind of race are we going to see, David? No teller, mate. It could be, it could be hot roddy. We could all get spread out, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be busy. All right, well, we wish you all the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to come round for one final lap of honour with the World Championship trophy. Will you please show your respect for your reigning and defending champion of the world? 499 is David Aldous. for his second world final. The runner-up in the 2015 European and UK Championship. It's 7-3-0, Dino, Dean Mays. And Dean, we also have for you here your trophy for winning the world ranking points. Dean Mays, only your second world final and you, sir, are in the hottest of seats. How are you feeling? I'm happy I've got a trophy today. You got two, actually. Two, yeah, bonus. You're, you're quids in already. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, hold your hand, do the steady hand test. It ain't too bad. More to the point, Marie, how are you? <laughs> Marie's in bits. Dean, I said to David Orders, how critical was that first bend? Uh, it's, it's extremely critical. And what's, what's the goal? In it to win it? You got to try, ain't you? certainly have. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who topped the world qualifying points is 7-3-0 Dino Dean Mays. He is the reigning Irish Masters and under 25 GB champion. Your national points championship leader is 6-9-8 Danny Colliver. And Danny as well, your trophy for third place in the world rankings. Of course, you come to us tonight now as the world rankings leader and also the national points leader. 
Second row inside, a lot of people would say that's the dream spot. What do you think about it? I don't think it's going to matter where you start here. If you can try and get in and out of the first bend, that's all you can ask for. Again, first bend going to be all make or break, do you think, at the start of the race? I'd have thought so, yeah, especially around Mildon. It's such a small track. You just need to try and get your head down and get going. It's all you can do. All right, and what about your own chances? Feeling confident? Oh, you've got to be confident. You're wasting your time, if not. You certainly are. The national points leader is 698, Danny Collier. Lee Sampson makes his way to the raceway, receives his qualifiers award from Noddy Robinson Lee, reigning British champion, former national champion, but now all eyes on the world final. How do you rate your chances? We're a good shot, we'll start where we are, but you know what it's like out there, it's madness, chaos, anything. How, how do you feel about second row on the outside? Just got to keep it pinned, don't we, and see what happens. <laughs> it sounds like a good plan. How much would it mean to you to win this one? Oh, everything, you know, it's what you aspire to win, you know, we won championships up and down the country now, but... It's still good. It's still the one you want, you know. You still aspire to that one. It certainly is. Thanks to Lee Sampson. Lee Sampson, the next man onto the raceway. Our Mike Allard, our next man onto the circuit, will receive his qualifiers award from the 1985 world champion Noddy Robinson. And we'll move in for a quick word, Michael. That was tactical, wasn't it? You're psyching everyone out. Yeah, just getting wondering if I was coming out or not, you know. That's, there's no mid -night runners though, it doesn't work in this formula. Michael, row three inside, how are you feeling? Yeah, not a bad place to start, just to see how the luck goes really. We wish you all the very best, Michael Allard in the 349 car. Introducing six, ranked eighth in the world rank as he starts on the outside of row three for his fourth consecutive world final. Fourth, a top four places in the 2015 English and UK Championship. The winner of the Ray Grand Trophy, it's number six, Way Simon Welton. Simon, world final, number four for you. Best grid position yet, how are you feeling? I don't care, I feel like I'm on stars in their eyes. I know, it's, it's very pretty, it's isn't it? Nice. It is, it's good. You like that, yeah? That's lovely. I feel, I feel very special. Well, we've got fireworks and everything still to come. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's the greatest day of your life. What are your chances? As good as anyone else's. Just got to have a bit of luck. All right, well, we wish you all the very best. Number six, Simon Well. Well, appearance, the three-time and reigning Irish points champion and the three-time and reigning Irish champion. 153, Ryan Wright. Ryan. First time in a world final at Milner, how are you feeling? Yeah, we'll give it a go. Shield wouldn't be a speciality, but we're here anyway. How did our practice go? Was, was that helpful? It was enjoyable. I don't know about helpful. I enjoyed uh, slipping and sliding my way around, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Is this going to be enjoyable? I hope so. <laughs> so do we. Ryan Anthony McIver! Anthony, another Irishman to make your world final debut at Milton Hall Stadium. How are you feeling tonight? I'm uh, feeling good. Should be good. Had some practice earlier on. Was that helpful? Yeah, the car was going all right. Oh, we wish you all the very best. Good luck to Anthony in the 7 number one car. World champion, two-time national champion, the 2002 British champion, the three-time in reigning European champion, and the 2011-2012 champion of the world. 677 is Eddie Darby. They're not listening to you, Eddie. It takes too long to introduce you, sir. Eddie, I know you're not as frequent a racer as you were once, but uh, tonight up the front, you've done it before here at Milnall. Can you do it again tonight? Oh, of course I can. Full of confidence, ready to go. <laughs> What's that first bend going to be like? Acting. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Congratulations, Eddie. Yeah, Side of row number five from Kings Lynn. Seventh consecutive world final appearance for the 2010 Milton All Track Champion. 671 is Willie Scoyles Jr. Willie, runner up the last two years. Is anything less than victory tonight going to be a disappointment? Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. What are your chances? I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, I wish all the very best, Willie scores the next man. In the 2014 Super Bowl, 158 is Shane Davis! Shane, no stranger to big events, or big events here in Milner, but uh, your biggest saloon stock car race today here, how are you feeling? Uh, all right, I'm excited. Well, that's good, the excitement is good. Race winner here last time out, is that going to help tonight? Probably not, but it give me a little bit more confidence coming into the meeting, but it won't help out at all, I don't think. Oh, well, we wish you all the very best. Shane Davis in the 158 car. He's English champion, 306, Daniel Parker! Thank you, man. Only 20 years old, but already in his third world final. Daniel, your first world final at Mildenhall. How are you feeling about this one? 
Uh, quite relaxed really, um, big push first corner and see where we get. It sounds like a plan and where do you want, what's the target for tonight? Well, win obviously, and that's everyone's target. It certainly is, are you capable? Yeah, of course, yeah, everyone's capable out on the track, uh, it's a fast grid, let's see what we can do. Good luck to you, sir. It's Daniel for his 10th World Final, the 2008 ORC in British, 2009 National Points, National and English Champion, and the reigning and two-time UK Champion is Griefy! 219, Luke Grief. Luke, there was a time when you won three championships in a row here at Millennial Stadium tonight. Can you win the one that matters? We hope so. How did the car go in practice? Was it going well? Yeah, it was going all right. We just have to get the look and see if we can get through. All right, we wish all the very best, Luke. Great. The 2014 East Anglian champion and the 2009 champion of the world, 360, Carl Walterfield. Carl, you've done it before. No stranger to the raceway here. How do you fancy your chances? Yeah, easy. It's going to be, it's going to be. If it's not, there's going to be a crash. So, yeah, I'm up for it. All right, sounds good. Who are the danger men, sir? The ones up in front, I've got to catch them. All right, and I'm sure you'll do your best to do just that. Well, final appearance of 2007 Charlene Kingston Memorial winner, 600 Barry Russell! Barry, you made your well final debut here five years ago. Five years later, how are you feeling tonight? Just the same as that first time. Is that a good thing? Yeah, it's, it's just a stock car race. Absolutely, hopefully it's going to be a good one. Barry it's Russell, first. consecutive world final appearance, it's 670, Ross Waters! Hello, sir. Mildenhall debut tonight, your first race here, the world final, don't get no bigger. How are you feeling? Uh, I'll be all right. Had some practice earlier on, was that um, favourable for you? That uh, was no bad. It wasn't bad, how do you fancy your chances? 34 and 1 chance. Sounds about <laughs> right. Good Champion 304, Martin Parker! <laughs> it's, it's like a reunion. Martin and Noddy. Martin, first time you've been seeded into the world final since, what was it, 1984. How's it feel to be back as a, as a seeded qualifier in this race? Well, I mean, well, obviously, I didn't have to qualify. It means I uh, took a lot of weight off, uh, you know, off that. But uh, a lot of work to do now, though, isn't there? Well, we wish you all the very best. Great to have you back on the grid, Martin. Again, it's five seven zero, oh, Simon Vanoy. Simon, a former ORC champion, of course. You won that race right here at Mildenhall. Can you do it again tonight? Only time will tell, won't it? It's certainly well, your best world final appearance was your debut here five years ago. Is that the target to repeat that form? We'll see. We'll see. Good luck to Simon Van Eyck. Uh, the national championship, Motorhead, 8-double-one, Kieran McIver. Kieran, the third of our Irish drivers to join us. Kieran, a top ten finish in the national championship at Kings Inn a few weeks ago. Does that give you a confidence boost heading into this one? Ah, it was good to get going well, wasn't it? Never really a good shield results, but it was good. Like. You had them practice laps earlier tonight. How's the car performing? I uh, went out too early. It was like this, just all over the place, but see how it goes now. We wish you all the very best. Two in the world. He now starts on the outside of road 10 from Norwich for his second consecutive world final. It's Philo Jr. Casey Englestone. Casey, things have changed again. Davey Patton, a non-starter. You find yourself back on the outside of the grid. How's that changed things for this one? Not a lot, have it? <laughs> Not a lot. How are you feeling going into this top 10 finisher last year? Uh, well, let's see what happened, won't we? We all will be watching. Good luck to Casey. Four, British champion in your reigning Cornish and Devon champion, 199, Phil Powell. Phil, of course, you won the British championship here. They're going without you, so you won the British championship here many, many years ago. Think you can replicate that form tonight? No. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. You've now the grids have switched again with the non-starting Irishman. You're back on the inside. Is that good news? Yes. No, not better on the inside than the outside. Just to try and keep out of trouble with the first few laps. Well, we wish you all the very best. Good luck to Phil Powell for his 10th one. Jacob, well, final debut. Looking forward to this, sir? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Grid positions have changed. I'm again afraid with the missing Irishman back on the outside of the grid. How's that changed things? Uh, not, not the best. 
<laughs> I'm sure it's all. He'll make the most of it. Sid, another driver you were due to start on the outside, the missing Irishman, you're back on the inside again. How, how are we feeling about that? Yeah, happy days, happy days, good boy. Third world final, looking forward to this one? Yeah, give it a go, shall we? Sure you will, we would expect nothing less. Sid Madrig in the 217 machine. Jamie Clayton! Jamie, sir, the grid positions have changed again with the missing Irishman. You now find yourself on the outside of row 12. How do you feel about that? It's not where you start, it's where you finish. It certainly is. Tenth consecutive world final. Is it time to put gold roof on, uh, gold paint on that roof? Uh, yeah, I'm almost a veteran. You are? That's <laughs> worrying. I don't know what that makes me. Jamie Clayton. Hey, Samson! He's in the middle of it all. Jamie, I've got to ask first and foremost, how did the house hunting go this afternoon? Um, not so well. <laughs> no, not good? <laughs> not good, no. You, you get that. It, it, trust me, it, it, it's, it's not good. Um, well, final regular now, sir. Going from the back of the grid, how do you fancy your chances? As good as anyone's, hopefully. Just oh. keep, keep on pushing and hopefully they're at the end. Sounds like a plan. He was a podium finisher at the last well final here. So Timmy, no stranger to this race. Grid positions have changed again. You're now on the outside of row 13 with the missing Irishman. Does that change things for you? No, it don't change anything for me. It's the first, first time, obviously, in ages I've been in it, so I'm grateful to be in it, really. Looking to make the most of it? Yeah, definitely. All right, good luck, sir. Timmy Barnes in 131. Trent Arthurton! Trent, your world final debut. Tell us what this means. That's good. It's all good. Looking forward to it? Yeah, definitely. And how do you rate your chances? Anyone can win it. All right, good luck, sir. Trent Alting from Bracknell for his second world final appearance. It's 591, Aaron Morris! Another man, your, your dad will know him, put it that way. <laughs> they can talk later on. Uh, Aaron, the winner of the last chance race. Carl looked good, feeling confident? Uh. We shall see. I mean, it didn't matter whether you won it or come sixth to me, really. So, as long as I'm in, that's all that matters. Can it be done from the back of the grid? Eddie Darby done it, so why not? Paul Licorice did it as well. He gets very bitter about people forgetting that. He really does. Aaron Morris on the inside of row 15 from Thetford for his second world final. 26 is Tommy Barnes. You could have washed your face, Tommy. You could have... No. Usual, isn't it? I know, it is usual. Tell me, second world final, looking forward to it? Oh, yeah, of course. What's the plan? Can it be won from that far down? Don't look before. Got to be, hasn't it? It certainly is. Good luck to you, sir. Tommy Barnes in the number 26 car. Stop! Max, first season in saloon stock cars and your world final debut. What does it mean to you to be on this grid? Ah, oh, it's good. Looking forward to the race? Yeah. And, and how do you fancy your chances? Never. That good. <laughs> Max starting the 157, so making his world final debut tonight. 350 is Thomas Perrin. Receives his qualifiers trophy from Noddy Robinson. Thomas, world final debut. What's this mean to you to be in this race? It's fantastic just to be qualifying after all the years around the sport, so it's got to give it a best. How do you rate your chances? Slim to none. But you're in it. Aye, you've got to be in it to win it, innit? You? you certainly have. Thomas Parry makes it 16 from Norwich. 3 1 2, Neil Payne. Neil, I feel like I'm asking this of everyone now, but your well final debut, what does it mean for you to be in this race? I'm just happy. You, you, you look it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your chances? Going to go for it? Might as well, I've got nothing to lose, have I? Absolutely, only ways forward. That certainly is, boss. Good luck to Neil Payne, and finally our 33rd entry to the World Final. Finished six in the last chance, he starts on the inside of row 17 from Bury St Edmunds, making his Saloon Stocker World Final debut. It's Sparrow Boy, 682, Paul Sparrow! Paul, first season in the saloons, no stranger to big races here in the bangers, but uh, don't get no bigger than this. How are you feeling? Nervous. 
I can imagine. Pleased to be in it? Yeah, love it. And what's the plan? You're at the back, the only way's forward. It's going hard. Sounds like a plan. Good luck. Congratulations to Paul Sparrow. Ladies and gentlemen, there are your 33 World Championship finalists. Your World Final now, just moments away. Trigger off, went down the back straight, and Dino and Aldous make a clean getaway. Aldous gets dangerously, dangerously sideways, he right nearly overcooks it. There's a big push behind, Brian Bray has gone out immediately. Griefy now gets involved with 158. We've lost Cracker, we've lost Barnes, and we've lost Power Early Doors. Oh, massive crashes, 8 number 1. In 220 ring the infield blocks at the end of the home straight. At the end of lap number 1, 499 is your leader, 698 in second, 6 and 730 is 4 to 8. Lee Sampson again goes around the turn. We've lost Shane Davis at the end of the back straight. He's another casualty. And Aldous has gone away. Aldous makes a clean getaway as the go racing through. And the guy will run into trouble at the end of the back straight. As uh, we look for the leader, he's gone through. 499, Aldous with 698. Colin on right on his tail. 306 goes in on 18. We race on, we promise the seven number one, Anthony McIver trying to hit, and Aldous has gone! Aldous has gone on the top turn! It's Wilton who leads! Dino in second, Colliver in third, Waterfield now fourth, Russell the next to show, the 312, the big lunge on the 682 car of Sparrowboy, the rest come racing through. And we're back with the leaders, and it's now 7.30, Dino, who's taking it up? Well, we're down a second, there's more engines, Colliver spins around. He's clicked by 220 600 and behind Darby winds out for the West Country now 199 Phil Powell. Good old 
leaders are going to come through Thomas. Thomas, seven number one has got one more lap. If he does it again, Randy Thomas is going to go way down this time. If seven number one does not get moving, all right, your leaders are making their way onto the back straight. It's seven thirty and six racing for the lead. Where he's going to take it, Thomas. It's Wave Jello, Wave Jello with Wellman leading. Through that come Wave Jello's out of the raceway for Anthony McIver on lap five. Through they come. Wave Jello's around. All right, these are your leaders. So then, you know what I'm going to say next. Several drivers, unfortunately, getting out of position. And it's through. Barry Russell's band is thank God to get out of harm's way. But Barry Russell's gone. Paul Sparrow wastes no time firing in the 220. And Dean Mays clears the back marker with Ross. Thomas Parrott as well. He has gone around. 306 lunges at Father Martin. And all just makes his way through. 591 Aaron Morris having a go at 360. As number 6 well on 5, 6, 70. Waters wide. Behind 26. Barnes knocks out 18 batting. And the rest come racing through. The field now a little bit more spread out. It's 131 Jimmy Barnes with a big dive bomb. And 4 to 8 Lee Sampson to move himself up the order. Number 6 now well on lunges up the inside of Waterford. Desperately trying to get away. 7.30 in seconds. Well on slaps the fence. Loses some ground. 6, 9, 8 in third. All this is up to fourth now. Covering well from that earlier spin. There's 220 Fido Junior. Fires 2 and 8 crack wide. We've lost 149. On the back straight. It's 360 Waterfield. The big lunge on 641. Now there's Dean Hayes. 10 minutes through. Number 6 well and leads. But he's now got Dino on his tail. He can see him in his sights. As they head down the back straight. About five car lengths between them. Colliver in third. Morris. As Darby dumps out Fido Junior. He's collected. 218. Crack as they come racing through. 499 orders. Help 670 Waterfield. Racing their way through, well and leads. Dean Mays chasing hard in second place. Colliver in third, two back markers between him and the next shot. 499 is great for Psycho lunge on 499. And that's going to be good for fourth position. It's a real dogfight down the order. There's 219 Cracker, lunges up the inside of Eddie Darby. Well and leads. Dino second. Colliver third. It's now Parker in fourth. Madwick in fifth. Orders in sixth. He's under attack from Barnes. And he forces him wide. 220 going in on 26. And Orders in trouble again. At the top of the second. Halfway next time, please, Thomas. Halfway next time, please. There's 2 2 at Fido. Fires back at 6 7. So at the halfway mark, it is Welton who leads the world final. Dino in second. Colliver in third. Martin, sorry, Daniel Parker in fourth. Madwick in fifth. Griefy in sixth. And I believe it's Van Eye in seventh. Aldous in eighth, Sparable in ninth. Through they come again, this is blistering stuff. And the leaders are now neck and neck. Dean Mays is out, and he's going to have a go at the top end of the circuit. The back straight, Timmy Barnes attacks one by Wade Davis, and Cracker moves in to spin Barnes around. Back with the leaders, Dino makes the move, Dino makes the move, he's got the lead, he's your leader on lap number 17. The new race leader, it's Dean Mays, as on the back straight, Van Eye puts his Sparrowboy into the fence. All right, new race leader, it's Dean Mays, but Wellman is still in the hunt. He's now under pressure from 360, Carl Waterfield, Dino leads. Can Welly come back? Aldous has gone! Aldous has gone in the hands of Bones! The King is dead! And we will have a new world champion! 6 double seven Derby getting stuck in a 158 Davis as they fight. Oh, wave Jello, Thomas! Wave Jellos, please! Got a wave jello situation for Paul Sparrow. Wave jello's on the circuit. And it's with Dean Mays and understandably again, tensions are running sky high. So we will get these cars back into the order they were again. And we're on lap number 19 of the World Final. The trigger, he is in control of this restart. 11 cars on the lead lap, well in second, Colliver third, Madrick fourth, Parker fifth, Griefy six, and Dean Mayne, here he comes, here he comes, Dean gets away clean, Colliver is going to waste no time, he lunges on the inside of Waterford, that could be critical, behind Parker, all or nothing on Madrick and McIver, to get into the position, meanwhile Van Eyre stuffs all us with a big lunge, himself in the mix. Tommy Barnes has gone around in 26. It is Dean Mays who leads. Welton in second. Colliver in third. The top three, believe it or not, are all one new three. As Warfield helps out. Uh, Scoils Jr. Briefly up the fifth. Magic in sixth. Samson in seventh. Darby's up to eighth. And we've lost Van on the back straight. He rejoins. He goes lap 
now. So feel they come again. Dean Mays, your leader. Van Eye now between the lead cars. Can roll and use Van Eye to his advantage. 2179 to be the big lung. 218 number one motor ahead. There's more drama here as 218. Cracker class number 18. Van Eye final one moves in and around those Cracker. Meanwhile, Van Eye lunges in wet, but to Dean Mays. Oh, and well, he puts him in the fence. Another lead change on lap number 21, and it's Wilson now. And Colliver, 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 Colliver's going to take it on the top turn. Back comes Dino. Oh my good God! Waterfield to Van Marker. Waterfield buried. Dean Mays, and well, it is away. Oh, hard break for Dean Mays, and he's done. Dean Mays is out of the running. More action. Waters spins Parker, in turn spins Clayton. So it's Welton now at least, and he is clear. Briefly second, Colliver third, Madwick fourth, Darby in fifth. Samson gets going again, a bit bend spinner. Lee Samson is still there in seventh place, I believe. But it's Welton now who's clear, and it's five to go, Thomas. Five laps, please. It's Welton on his way to the world title. Well and leads. For the first time this race is a little bit of breathing space. Luke Reef is second. Madwick is third. Colliver is fourth. And I believe it's Eddie Darby in fifth. Lee Samson in sixth. And it is. Van Eyes there as well. Van Eyes in seventh. More action as 18. And 306 with a half spin, but Clay has got. And we've lost Madwick! Madwick's been done, I believe, by Samson! So, Rowan leads, but he's swimming with sharks! Griefy throwing everything at him! Golliver third! Darby now fourth! Madwick fifth! Jamie Clay up the inside of 570 Van And Samson spits out Batty! Number six, Simon Wellen, with two to go. The action continues as Parker dive bombs 220. Alders trying to get up there as well. What a world final it's been. Wellen leading them through. As the laps start to wind down, can he hold on for just another lap of racing? He is clear, clear around the track. Will Jamie Sampson spoil the party? Last turn he won. The King is dead! Long live the King! It's Bradley! Simon Welton! Last bit! Call him a lot for briefly for seconds! And McIver dumps out Waterfield. And then Parker dumps out 8 double one We lost Cracker as well. Keep them coming, Thomas! Thomas, you can call it. The king is dead. Long live the king. The new king of saloon stock oil racing. And his name is Willie. Number six, Simon Welton. Let's see if we can uh, get to everyone. We'll start with this man, fourth place for Eddie Darby. Eddie, you look absolutely shattered, sir. How are you feeling? Yeah, I am, but I'm happy with that. I was got a, a hell of a race. Did you have any idea you was in contention? Well, I saw Luke, and I thought he was in third, so I thought I was in fourth. I knew I wanted a lap down, so I thought he was third, I was fourth. 
So. Not, not a show regular these days by any stretch. Pleased with fourth? Never have been. Yeah, very pleased with it. Good stuff. Well, congratulations, sir. Uh, let's see if we can get to the rest of our top three. Who's here working on the cars? Luke, come this way. Sorry, sir. The doesn't receive too well. Third place, Luke. Hell of a race. Um, how do you feel about that one? Oh, it, was a, it was a brilliant race. To be fair, my car went right off at the end. I was just trying to hold my position and hope the leaders got took out. Most of them did. But when he got away, obviously Danny did a good last bend, but I don't mind losing second on the line. If it had been first, I'd have been a bit annoyed, but it's a good race. Danny Colliver all or nothing for second. Did you see that one coming? I knew it was coming. I see him in the mirror gaining four car lengths into the corners. I was gaining a couple out, but I just couldn't keep up with him. Well, congratulations on second place to you, Luke. We'll need to try and get our, third, our runner up, Danny Colliver. It wasn't the longest, the runner up, 698. Danny Colliver, dripping with sweat, sir. How are you feeling? Oh, over the moon. Couldn't, couldn't do it better in the second place. I tried my best. I got rid of all in the first few laps because it's going to be a hard race him chasing you. But I just couldn't get back on him. But I tried my best. What else can you do? You, uh, you got in the lead for, uh, I don't know how long. It wasn't very long, but you got in the lead. Did you think maybe then you had a chance? To be fair, it doesn't matter how long you're in the lead for. The only time you've got a lead is when you hit that flag on lap 30. Anything other than that is pointless. Tell me about the last bend, all or nothing on Luke for second. I wasn't even worried about the second. I just wasn't sure who was behind me. So I just went in as hard as I could and hoped for the best. Well, congratulations, sir. Runner-up in the world final. And here he is behind me. Mildon Old Stadium, will you please congratulate? As we said a moment ago, the king is dead. Long live the king, the new king of saloon stock car racing. And his name is number six, Simon Welton. Man hug. Thank you. I taught him everything he knows when we used to race minis. And I used to pick on him every week. I tell everyone that. That's how I learn. Simon. You are, and, and another thing, history in the making, you are, um, with all due respect to Carl Waterfield, who won the, the Trackstar 1300 World Final, but the first driver to win the Speedworth 1300 Stock Car World Final, and now the Saloon Stock Car World Champion. What does this race win mean to you? I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> does it all feel a bit surreal at the moment? I've been thinking about it all week. Never thought that'd actually happen, and I'm here. <laughs> tell me about the restarts there was two of them uh one of them you led uh, I, I firstly let's talk about the first restart you you grab the lead and as soon as you grab it the wave jellers come out what what goes through your mind at that point i was quite happy with the yellow flag to be honest i, I knew i could gap i could I knew i could do what i wanted to do but as the race went on the track got drier and drier and i don't mind admitting i was struggling i was struggling Second restart, Dean Mays was in control. You were on his bumper. Was that a better position to be in? And he got away a little bit. Did you think maybe he got away from you? I knew he'd got away, but I weren't concerned because I knew there was going to be traffic later on. And that was just 50-50, weren't it? And talk about the traffic. Because then all of a sudden you were in the mix. Colliver was in the mix. What were those couple of laps like? Horrible. <laughs> you, you got through it all. Was it luck or was it judgment? A bit of both, to be honest. The, this track is, there is a percentage of luck. It's that simple, but there is a big percentage skill as well, you know, that's just whatever come your way. And then you got away and you had a bit of breathing space. Were you aware you had the breathing space and what were those final few laps like? Longest final few laps of my life. Same as they always are when you're leading any race, let alone this one. Horrible. <laughs> well, congratulations, sir. Well done. The new world champion, everyone, is Simon Welton. <laughs> And this way, Willie. Olive 100 of them.
we go then with heat number one tonight for the mini slots. These guys have been waiting patiently to get out for this one. And there's problems early doors for 3-3-9. Three, three, Harry Atkins, who's got an immediate problem, gets himself to the inside of the raceway. And that's going to allow us to continue as 3-9-9 uh, Brother Cole gets things going in the early lungs on 3-2-9 Morford as they battle for early positions. A big push at the top turn with the yellow grey. It's 3-50 Ian Webster who makes the early running. 370 up in the second as 333 putting the bumper on 331 and then behind them 300 goals for the big lunge on 303 Bromley and 546 Lauren Nichols as they fight their way through on the home straight more action in the back straight as triple three Connor Clyde spins around 370 Rowan Venor and it's Liam Webster still looking for his first Milner will win he's running the triple three in second 369 in third as we lose 229 Megan Petrick here in front of us and we've also lost Ben Nichols on the end of the back straight Megan's got power on that race car and she'll look at herself out of harm's way and we race on in a heat number one for the minis. 350 Webster leads. 369 Sergeant up the second. 379 Usher in third. Triple three Bright. And then comes 370 Van Eyck and 308 Smithson. And the leader now getting stuck into the Starmen. Carl Atkins now being relegated to a lap down. As up the home straight, 392 Morphy trading paint for 320 Dorland. As the mini stocks fight their way through, 344 four, Royal Ball now bars on his way past 315 Sanctuary. And meanwhile, brother Dan does the same to 300. And Lauren Nichols moves in and around goes the 300 car. He's clicked on 561. And the leader gets caught in the middle of that melee. Everyone gets going again. But Liam Webster has lost a chunk of that lead. Harry Sarger now looking to try and close the gap as they race their way out of the back straight. But it's 350. Webster who leads. Heat one for the minis. 369. Sergeant in second. And 350 continue to live life on the edge. He takes down well. I mean, 369 is going to take the lead. And 379 Usher is going to nip through into second. Jack Goldsmith off the pace on the home straight. He's going to get himself out of harm's way as he rolls his way to the top end of the circuit. And the rest racing on in heat number one for the mini stops. So through they come again. Halfway, please. Next time, 369. As Wellen spins around 229. She's collected head on by Liam Webster. And Liam spins in the fence behind as Rayner spins around Molly Smith. And Liam, great stuff there by Liam. They get himself out of harm's way. Brilliant stuff. Sergeant leads at halfway. 379 in second. As Van Eyck lunges at Ben Nichols. Triple three, Connor Bright now coming to grief at the end of the back straight. Manages to get himself out to the uh, outside of the race lane, off the racing line. 369 leads. 379 in second. Five to go next time, please, Thomas. I believe it's 344, 315, 304, 310, 301, sorry, 368, I believe is your order as the minis come racing through. So, through they come, 369 in the lead. 70 to 379 in second. Sorry, 370 is there, my apologies. 370, Rowan Venner in third place. Four laps to go, this time by, for Harry Sargent, working his way through the traffic. 379, Beth Usher in second, 370, Van Eyck in third, the 301 Rainer squeezed up inside of 315. My apologies, our early inclinations, right, so 370, Rowan Van Eyck, we have got us a lap down, so apologies for that confusion. It means the third place is down with 344, Danny Albon with 304, the next to show, there's more action as Wellham spins around 229, Petherick, and the rest race their way through, Harry Sargent, the leader, and the lap starting to wind down, 379 in second, 344 being shown in third, 304, 301, 315, and the rest, great racing as always from the mini stocks and a big, big grid of cars here tonight as they race their way through, supporting the Saloon Stock Hall World Championship Final on in the final lap of racing. And 304, Tony Elbow continue to give younger brother Danny a real hard time over third place. 315, Sanchez, the next to move through. Cole Atkins also battling his way back up the order as the cherry flag flies. And it's Harry Sargent who takes first blood for the minis. 379, Beth Usher is the runner up. Danny Elborn holds on. And Tony Elborn, Josh Rayner, Charlie Sancho under attack from Harry Wellham as they come across the line. The rest come through for the spots, the positions, and the places. We've got him, Thomas. Red flag, please. Glenn Racing, meet number one tonight for the mini stocks.
green flag will fly. And 161, Billy Smith, 131, Timmy Barnes, and number two, Luke Dawson, all guilty of jumping the start hall, all receive a two place penalty. But the action begins as 131 with a big lunge on 610. And behind the bumpers going in with number two, Spooky getting involved with 28 Govia. The scenes get on the way, rough and tumble as you would expect. From the saloons, 192, Robert Haynes is the man up front. It's 270, Fuller in second as behind. Byron is in spinning by 84, Boswell. And he's collectible 161, Smith, who's dumped out by the frog. Morax Mine is number two, Spooky with 600, Barry Russell. In 349, Allard skirmishes along the blocks and then goes around. 192, Haynes from 74, Tweedy, 270, Fuller, 84, Boswell. 321, the frog, 360, Waterfield. And Waterfield now sends Marcus Skill spinning on the back straight. We've lost 715, Hegg, he's gone up the blocks on the back straight. And it's 192, Haynes from 74 and 84. 270, Chris Oak on the back straight. It's going to go red, Thomas, we'll go red. And it will be a complete restart. It's going to be a complete restart, Thomas, please. Three laps in. Got a car hanging up the fence in spectacular fashion on the back straight. And it's Luke Dawson up the fence with a big, big crash. Red flags out in the interest of safety. It is a complete restart.
to the rest coming through. As Banwell trying to get himself out of dodge. Down here on the home straight, the rest taking evasive action. 192, Robert Haynes at first with an on blue grey drivers to show. As Billy Smith with a big barge up the inside of Boswell. Back with your leader and 2 2 0 now. Casey Engelston lunges a right right. Going all of the blue grey drivers with that two place penalty. The race, in fact, for the lead is between Robert Haynes and Fuller. And of course, no one's going to be holding off. 6 4 1 dumps out 18. 131 coming through again, looking to the very least, win on the road, as 192 fires to 70 wide. The rest coming through, and it's one lap to run. For 131, Jimmy Barnes, of course, unaware of the penalty, as will be Casey Engelston. He'll be racing hard as they go on to the final lap, and have a belter from the saloons. What's going on last turn of 6-4-1 with a big lunge on 84, and Casey Engelston goes for Barnes. Holds on. Of course, there is that two place penalty for the entire blue grey. And on the line! Oh, it is fuller from Haynes. That was the fifth. That is, in fact, going to be the first and second. The rest come through. We've got all please. Red flags to end racing in tonight's Saloon Stockholm Constellation Race. Once again, we will bring you the full official race results. with tonight's second heat for the Mini Stocks 331 Archie Fly this time is going to set the pace as the Mini Stocks get underway and uh, already they're getting stuck in such a huge continuing the blue grey jobs he's lost 331 Archie Fly the home straight he has gone around there's another spinner as well up on the top turns with a couple of spinners early doors rest come racing through and it's 350 Liam Webb's through leads 370 in second I believe it's 229, Megan Petrick in third. Uh, as the rest go racing on 339. Cole Atkins in the difficulties as well. Number 300, Jack Goldsmith up on the top end of the circuit. And it's 350, Webb's ruling. From 370, Vanoi, 229, Petrick, 315, Charlie Sanctuary. Triple three, 369, Arsenal loses 301. As the rest go racing through 350, Webster going a little wide up on the top end of the circuit, loses a little bit of ground, and it's Webster who leads from Van Eyck and Patrick with the leaders now starting to bunch up, and here comes 370 now, Van Eyck out the inside to take the lead away. On lap number three, Harry Atkins still desperately trying to get out of harm's way as they work their way through, and uh, Jack Gosman, I think it's Benny Nichols on the back straight, getting themselves running once again, the leaders fight their way through, Webster has reclaimed the lead, 229 in second, 370 in third, 315 in fourth, 369 helps 333 bright in the fence down here in front of us, and the rest racing through is 564, David Sheeran getting involved with 300, Jack Goldsmith, the rest racing on 370 now. Venai has reclaimed the lead. 229 in second, 315 in third, 350, 301 in 304, then 379, 399, and the rest as the mini stocks race their way through in tonight. It's second eight more from now trying to get the inside as uh, 528 and 300 continue to trade paint up on the top of the circuit. Got a couple of spins, we're halfway next time, please, Thomas. It's 528 Ben Nichols. Removes the 300 car on the top end of the circuit. The leaders fighting their way through. And 300 now, Jack Goldsmith sends 546. Lauren Nichols around, it's 370. 301 up the second, 350 in third, 315, 229, 308 and 304. 
Dominaire is straight ten. Harry Well and Flexi stricken five four six. Carl Lauren Nichols. She picks herself up. She races on three seventy. Rowan Van are looking for his first ever race win in the mini stocks. What a night to do it. Three oh one three fifty two two nine three oh four three one five three nine nine and the rest as the mini stocks come racing through. And here's your leader again, Rowan Van I was on the back straight. I think that's three. 04 Elbron who turns around 229. It's five to go next time around, please, as Megan Pethwick sorts herself out and we race on five laps to go then, please. For Rowan Van I, can he hold on for a maiden race win? Josh Rayner is not going to make it easy. 301 in second. Here's the race for third. 315, 304, and 399. And Elbron goes in on Sanctuary and Atkins is able to nip through. That was a crafty move by Carl Atkins to gain some more positions. The rest racing on as 320 Dawn and winds out 229. Patrick is really in the wars in this one. And this time Megan gets herself out of harm's way. She's come to a halt but so quickly gets that car running and moves herself out of harm's way. The mini stops race on. It's 546 Lauren Nichols up the inside of Aaron Tottenham and we're back with the leader 370 with three laps to go. Can he hold on? Josh Rayner still chasing hard trying to reel him in. It's Cole Atkins there in third. Elborn in fourth. Sergeant in fifth, Usher in sixth, and Sanctuary in seventh, and Morphy the next to show. 392, Van Eye working his way through the traffic now, back marker between him and his nearest rivals. But Rowan Van Eye's got to try and find a way through the traffic now. Quickly gets up the inside of Aaron Totten to do just that. A 379, Usher gets the jump. And the 369, Sergeant again, another position. Rowan Van Eye now one lap away from a first ever mini stop winner. Arena tangles up with Flash Jr. and that could make a difference to Rowan Van Eye who continues to lead him on to the back straight for the final time he's got a little bit tangled up and Rainer's there here comes Rainer on the last lap a big lunge and it's good for the win Rainer denies Van Eye on the last bend Atkins is third Elborn is fourth wow what a finish to our second mini stop heat of the night We've got on Thomas Red Flags, please, between racing and tonight's mini stock heat two. Flag will fly, we're off and running with tonight's salute stock car grand final and oh my goodness me, look at this. Charge as Samson held Turbine into the fence, it's Triple H Shim from 274 up. 733 car picked at 350 pound in 312 with 218 crack leading the blue grey charge. We lost the frog early doors in 321. As again stuck in all the way up and down the order. Here's your leader, Triple A Emerson from 274 up. 703 picked at 350 power in 312 pain. 218 crack at 360, 149. Look at this, the new world champion flexing his muscle as well. He dive bombs Collimer and marches out of the way proudly wearing the gold roof. For the very first time, Triple Eight leads. It's now 350 in second, seven double three in third, and three one two in fourth. Spinners on the turn as 131 helps out 26 and 715, and they fight to avoid the spinning cars. As they go on the Kyber, put 698 Colliver in the wall, and a wall of fit with a big dive bomb on Kyle Picton on the pit turn. Almost charges at 217, and well he does the same. The Parker to put him into the fence, and the leader has gone in the hands of Shane Davis. It's 350 who takes it up. 312, 360, 218, and 733. A new leader's lap number four of 20 in the final. 312, Payne has got around the top turn and Parry's in the fence. So we have a new leader. It's Cole on the field on lap five. 218, back to 733. And we've got a red flag situation. We have a red flag situation.
situation where we're on lap five, it will be a lap sheet or the restart. I believe it's for Thomas Parrin, but I'm not too sure, but we are in to lap five. It will be a complete, oh, sorry, a lap sheet or the restart, I'm sorry. Lap sheet or the restart of this one. Marshall signal that all was not well and the red flag's coming out in the interest of safety. And yes, Thomas and Thomas powering up on the road. Really slow pace. Looks like he's almost going to make it a clutch start when he pulls the trigger. Starting to inch forward a little bit. Waterfield, look at this incredibly slow pace. He's setting and he pulls away now, halfway down the back straight. And we are off and we're running. And they ain't wasting no time. Tommy Barnes will land down for the tax cracker. Right for the world goal. Uh, as Billy Smith does the exact same to Matt Fuller. And we've lost David Aldous. Meanwhile, more action now as 158 Davis finishes the job on 304 Parker. To send him spinning around. It's 360 Waterfield who leads the way. Seven place with 218 Cracker. 733 Picton in third. 306. 570 Venai. The next to show. And a Triple H Shin with a big dive bomb on 67 Derby. Pile up on the top turn. And we've lost 270 in that melee. Three cars involved. My apologies. Can't quite make out the identity of the other two that are stuck in the fence up at the top end of the circuit. But it does not include Carl Warfield. He leads the final. 570 having a nibble at 306. And 733 now moves in spin. 218 around. It's 161 Billy Smith and on the cars. In that home straight pile up. Venner has gone out and down in the fellas. We've lost Sid Madrick on the back straight. So Waterfield leads tonight's final. Halfway next time, please. 306 second. Number six third. 131. 312. 219 and 218. That is your order. As uh, Emerson is putting the wall on the pitch turn, he comes back, as does Madwick. Puts the move upon the number six car, Simon Wellman, but he nips through. And the rest come racing through. And this is an incredible pace. Halfway in tonight's. Saloon stock off on with Carl Waterfield, the man up front. And he's inching away from 306 as the action continues as Samson dumps out Shin down here in front of us. Up at the top turn, we have lost Sid Madwick and more action as Swanee Jr. fires Samson into the fence. We've lost Kyle Picton, 306 in second, number six in third, 131 in fourth, 218, 219 now, Griefy dive bombs pain. And another place. Big swing on the back straight. And it's Samson who sent Davis around. Samson continues to dump out Tommy Barnes. And the saloon stock cars tonight are meeting more than worthy of being your world championship. Carl Waterfield is the leader. 306 in second place, Tommy Barnes choosing a very unusual way of getting out of harm's way. But uh, he manages to do that now. Bit of a heart stopping moment there from him. Well, he fires in on 149. Well, he is in third. Timmy Barnes is fourth. Four to go next time, Thomas. Four laps, please. Next time, tonight's Southern Stock Car Final. So, into the final stages we go for Carl Waterfield. He leads. 306 second. Number six is third. 131. 218. 219. I believe it's at 312 in the rest. The rest coming through as 4 to 8 Sams has a good nibble at 570 Van as they race their way through and it's Carl Waterfield who leads, setting an amazing pace in tonight's saloon final. 698 now, Danny Colliver diving up the inside of 312, Neil Payne. And the rest racing on. I believe 270 might follow the last of the white raiders to stand, so uh, if he's not in the top 10, he's going to pick up that white raider award and the 50 quid bonus. 219, Luke Grief gives Shane Davis a wild ride up into the road turn, but it's Carl Waterfield on the final lap. Daniel Parker charging on in second, Simon Wellman in third, Timmy Barnes in fourth, Luke Grief in fifth, Van I in sixth, Payne in seventh. And here they come now to the checkered flag, bit of drama there at the end with Madwick. But Waterfield holds on the winner and he takes him out as he crosses the line. Waterfield wins. Parker second, Welly third. Keep them coming please, Thomas. And we've got them all. Red flag please. Twin racing in tonight's Saloon Stock Car Final.
the 2 1 for the rest of the top six. Let's sell it. Four teams about to battle it out for the Inner County's team challenge title. So here we go, one race to settle it all, 15 laps of action. Dan Latham making the early drop. Matt Franklin under attack on the doors from the G Man. And behind, 723 Smith does the same. 27 Matthews to spin him around, there's a big push. Up on the road turn, Mid Street to Latham leading for Norfolk. We're yet to win this event. 328 leads, 572nd, 95 third, 51 5 double one. As Lauer is stuffed into the fence by Franklin and a big push now. Drama 7 2 3 up the side of 1 2 3. Gets on the two wheels, nearly went all the way over. Alright, we look again for the leaders. 3 2 8, Dan Lay for the man up front. 5 70, 95, 51, 37, 5 to 1. It's a pretty racy start as 6 2 3 berries. 3 1 3 to the fence. And then 3 2 7 goes in on 9 1 3. The trick is wiped himself out with that big attack on Craig Osborne. And he could be a sitting duck here if anyone feels the need. Fit to have an attack from Ratty. And it's 3 2 8 Lathan who led them last time through. And Osborne doesn't need to be asked twice. Payback's a bitch. As he blows up Ricky Hutton with a big turn. 1, 2, 3, now also in control, that trips up his teammate Mad Mark. And still a racy, racy affair so far, the final, the biggest grip. It's been our widest race so far, 3 to 8, Lathan leads for Norfolk. It is still 5.70, Dino Jr. in second for Kent, and 37, Dave Lewis in third for Suffolk. And then 5 to the 1, Nickwish for Cambridge, the top four, all filled by drivers from different teams. Curly comes in for a payback hit to Craig Osborne and that might well block the track a little bit. Dino Jr. able to squeeze through. Now the track opens up again. Pitch turn! Lauer gets buried by a wall underneath the 326. And Mark hits with a 313 Osborne. Halfway next on please. Thomas is 338 the winner. Nailed 327 little legs. So it was 328 who led them. Dan Latham, and here he comes, he's comfortably clear of 570. Whoever is not winner take all, but the winner is going to get the ball below to the points. Dan Latham trying to get around Mad Mark. As 898 Andy Battle gets involved with 1, 2, 3, Curly. And the rest coming through in tonight's Bang of Final. We're in for the second half. He has it. Oh, 1, 2, 3, a big head on 592 Mad Mark in Jack Lauer. Not too sure who was. More responsible, that is five to go next time, Thomas. Five laps to go. So this is where things get interesting now. You've dealt your cards. Let's see what you're going to do with them. 3 2 8 Lathan leads the man final. Victor, an absolute expert in team racing, will surely look to assist his team if he can. The top six score the points. But the winner gets the majority of the points. Victory Pan is in the uh, fifth place. Curly is lurking. He gets collected by four number one. And that's taken up the leader. The leader's in that. Nathan gets running again. Oh, big drama there. 3 1 7 0. Oh, that's a flywheel that went. A big explosion under the bunny of Nick Waker. But I'll tell you what, we're in the final stages. And it's still being racing. But as I say, that big Oh, my life. Victor, what a hell, Ratty, Millwall 1, 2, 3 connects on the leader. We have a pile up now as Pretty Boy nails Andy Battle. So, 3 to 8, still leads. Does he have the final laps in him? Big crash down on the turn as the Ken boys are doing everything they can. But Dan Latham needs to keep his head and get those final laps. He goes through. But he might have made a mistake going past Victor. It's 570 in second. Can Victor now take out Dan Latham? And Latham's got the legs on him and he pulls away. One lap to go. As 1 4 1, the G man bounces 4 number 1, Franklin off the fence. Victor comes through. We're in the final lap. The minor places could be the telltale signs. As 95 Andy Martin flams pretty boy. On the back straight, the leader gets involved. He runs into his own teammate. And Victor lunges but misses. And Latham wins the banger final. Got to keep him coming, please, Thomas. 
Got a game coming through. Top six to score the team championship points. Through they'll come the spots and the positions. Several drivers have had a lap down. We've got now Thomas Red Flag, please, to end racing in tonight's bag of final. We're going to confirm results and the winners in just a moment. In the main event for the mini stocks. 
on to the home straight we come again, 370 now under pressure, it's 304 right there with him in the race for second place. As a big one there, 356 Harry Overy barging Molly Smith's out of the way in incredibly aggressive fashion. 350 webs to another lap close to that first wheel will win Venai with the Elborn brothers all over his rear bumper. Cole Atkins has now moved himself up into the places as the rest come racing through. There's action here as Connor Bright gets involved with Jack Goldsmith. Liam Webster goes through again. Another lap closer to that first race win at Mildenhall. The action continues now as 301 Wayne with a big lunge on 356 over. It's enough to spin him around at claims Ben Nichols. And through they come. Liam Webster now a Mildenhall winner. Elborn gets the letter of his brother for second. Then I get him dumped out the last bend as the rest come through. Ben Nichols and Harry Overy trying to get themselves sorted out. Down there on the turn, the rest come through. We've got him, Thomas. Red flags, please, to end tonight's mini stock final and tonight's mini stock racing. Again, we hope you've enjoyed the mini stocks. Green flag will fly, 7.33, Kyle Picton jumping the start, two place penalty for Kyle as a result of jumping the start of tonight's saloon final. All comers, excuse me, it's full of leads. Shiv in second, there's a big lunge behind Waterfield and Barnes and 3-2-1 as Spooky winds out. Follow Jr and he's hit head on heavily by Shane Davis as he looks to get himself in the harm's way. Trepai and 270 for the lead. Another huge push as the frog buries Waterfield with a savage burial. Oh, dumps out Spooky, but it holds them both up. Parker dumps out Clayton, huge shoving match. And the leaders are at the back of that, Triple A 277 double three. Carl picked in the game with a two place penalty as he spins around Shim on the top turn. Look at this scramble behind, it's 7.33 now Fuller, but again, he, uh, sorry, picked him as that two place penalty. Bound one up to third, Parrott in four, Barnes in fifth, Samson in six. And they are leaving nothing to chance, I right, what a meeting. Carl Picton lunges up the inside of 85, which in turn sends Motorhead into the fence. The rest coming through in tonight's Saloon Stock Car Final. And we race on, looking for your leaders. 7 over 3 leads on the road. 128, Manuel second. 270, full of third. 131, 350. 218, Cracker now starting to emerge as a contender. And 149, back with, oh, look at this. And Picton has gone in the hands of number two. Full, oh my goodness me. Cracker briefly get the worst of it. Harry's gone around. Somehow, they're all still in it. Parry now going to get out of harm's way. Let's hope he can. Halfway next time as Parry gets in the reverse. Good lad. All right, I'm going to have to try and be the leader because I've lost complete track of this one. But the action's going to continue as Skills has gone around in front of us. All right, your lead is with 128 Craig Banwell. 641 in second. 570 in third. And 360 in fourth. With that huge explosion bomb on the top turn. The action continues. 158 spins around 304. And 641 dumps out 85. And this is amazing. We're in the second half. Apologies for missing that. Five to go. Next time around. And it's still great down when it loads. One, two, eight. It's a fight on. Oh, more action, 306 with McDonald's, and the leader goes in! The leader goes in, and now Paul up behind, Griefy's been Samson! On the back straight, Cracker dumps out Madwick! Who's going to emerge from that in the lead? And it is still Badwell who leads! 
Grove Jr. in second, Vettel in third. David Orders in fourth, as 18, 30, comes out spooky. Waterfield and Irvine in one big goal. We've lost Shane Davis as well, oh, this is amazing. Ian Goger and other casualties on the back straight. Greenslade spins, Philo Jr. into the fence. Keep your eyes on those stricken cars on the back straight. We're into the final two laps now. As they look to get themselves out of harm's way. Scoyles Jr. in the line, 360. Gobi has come to grief. Through the car, and tonight's Saloon Stock Car Final. We're into the final stages. Two stricken cars on the back straight. Everyone seems to be aware. We're going to try and get them through in the final couple of laps. As eight double one now collects the two to oh, car. And another big hit. There's Vettel. On Casey Angles, double we are in the final stages. The red flag situation. Marshall's there, the reds are out. So the result will be taken from the last completed lap with concern for Casey Angleston. We are in the final stages. Marshall was there to make the call uh, in the hope that we might have been able to get to the end. But uh, Casey signaling that all was not well. The red flag's out immediately. So we don't get it to the finish. I don't think it made too much difference to the result. Sixteen drivers have made it back out. Ten laps of the race into the DD. The winner of the race are into the DD. And the driver voted best entertainer will qualify for the Accumulator Championship. Here we go, last time of the night for the National Bangers and the Accumulator Championship. Early action sees Toby Smith dive on top. Taking on his collective little legs. As Matty Franklin dumps out Jack Lauer down here in front of us. We're off and running them the last time of the night. Another spinner up on the top turn of the raceway. Near your leaders, 141 the G-Man from 328 Latham and 37 Lewis. 275 Rusty, 188 Victor. And we're away in racing for the final time tonight with the National Bank of Accumulator Qualifier. So off we go. And uh, here's the race for the Dan Latham who's uh, seeing sights and joining up in those top spots in the National Points. And uh, this race, the only race of the night up until this point, they're racing for team points. So Dan Latham and so the rest of his team are already top scorers with 30 points. But now Dan looking to try and add to that while winning the accumulated qualifier. So it is a bit of a racier start to this one. And we race off in the accumulated qualifier. And 3-2-7. Big Maskell Jr. with a fire under the bonnet for 3 2 7. We keep our eyes on Nick Maskell Jr. down here in front of us. One four one, the G Man now lunging at 275 to send him around. And we race on in tonight's. Accumulator qualified pan and now looking to uh, get himself into the mix. And it's three laps to go, a very racy affair. The race, three to eight, Latham leads. 37 and 188, the next to show. And then 141 to G, so the next to show. So will the action be saved for the DD? Or are we going to end with a little quieter one? On the back straight. Oh, huge hit! As Franklin follows in G Man and he catches the post. Situation and it will be red in checkered, Thomas. It's red in checkered. We'll restart with the DD. Huge crash on the back straight, and it's a red flag situation. We're going to try and restart this one as quick as we can. Thank you. 